Okay, I'm gonna try to attempt to film episode two of the estate sale jewelry haul. I'm gonna, so I've been watching my videos, some of my most viewed videos, and I think I actually filmed those with the phone higher up. And I just, I didn't look through the phone at all. I just kinda used something to give me a center point and just worked under the phone. So we're gonna try that today. Let me know if it looks better for getting things into focus. Um, yeah, and if you see anything you like, check out my link for my posh closet, and there's also another link for $10 off your first purchase um, on Poshmark, and I'll try to also link the estate sale company. Uh, let me know if you're looking for any other information. All right, thank you so much for watching. Okay, so I have these tiny items. Um, I'm not gonna go through every single one. I'm gonna go maybe quickly. Yeah, I think this is so much better. I can just sort of barely see over my phone. Um, it's a tie clip. I don't think any of these have marks. This one I don't understand. Assuming it is some kind of tie clip, but it's like weird. Um, any more tie clips? I feel like there were there was another one. I'm a little bit all over the place today, guys. Um, American flag. I guess these are for ties too. You guys are gonna have to. Like, I'm gonna have to just do some look this stuff up. My dad was explaining something to me about the buttons for the shirts, like how they would have like dress buttons or something to put in their shirts. Here's some definitely cufflinks with the L. Those are really good, really, really good shape. Um, so I might list those. Are there, is there a match for this? Oh, here's that other tie clip. It says Echo Stanley. So I'll have to look that up. Oh, we'll see, because it just, we'll see if it's still focusing on my hands more than the thing. Let me know. Um... This earring, I think, is a single. I'm gonna put it on my rack. I don't think I've come across the match for that, unfortunately. Um, is this a single? I don't see the match for this. Here's a set of two of these. These are really cool. I'll just, I'll probably just list all the men's stuff together because I don't even know enough about it. <laughs> this, this is an ear, a single earring. I'm going to stick it on that thing so I'll be aware if I find it. Um, there's another L. Now, I don't know if these, I think these are for a tie. Uh, so I think there is supposed to be one. I'm not sure why I seem to have two sets of three of these. One in gold, one in silver. And they're like, uh, what the heck? Uh, somebody's gonna have to explain this to me. It's on like a little spring. Uh, I guess these are cufflinks. Oh, these are marked too, so I'm going to have to look these up. Swank. <laughs> Shrink, swank. I think it's a swank. Cool. I'm going to look that up for sure. These ones are similar, but they don't have the same marking. Interesting. Uh, what else do we have here? Um... Is this a pair? Oh, this is a pair of earrings. Oh, these are cute. I didn't hardly notice these. So these are a cute little pair of earrings. Oh, I like those. I don't see any mark on these. Nice little pair of earrings. I'm gonna put the, maybe the pairs of earrings in my little llama dish, maybe. 
There's a shark tooth. This, is there a couple of these? It's the same, yeah. I don't know, I have three of them. Two of these, three of these, three of these. Oh, it's interesting for sure. There's another um, little tie thing. So cool, three of those. That's a cool little collection there. I don't know if I have another one like this. Oh, I have two of these. These need cleaning. In the back, there's some green corrosion. Oh yeah, and for this, I just have to remember to hold it like under the lens to keep things centered. That's the tricky part too. It's like you, I try to put, I start to go to put them like under the middle of the phone, but that makes it off centered. Um, I think that's what I tried to do it the other way. This is just a single earring. I don't think I have a match for this. I'm gonna put it on my little earring stand and we'll see. I don't know if it'll fit on there easily. This steel. Interesting. I don't know what these little wooden plastic things are. Someone I'm sure is gonna tell me some kind of button. Oh, I think this is a single earring. I don't think I have the other one. That's a shame if I don't. But maybe I do. Maybe it'll turn up. Never say never. Sometimes I freak it. <laughs> I don't think I've seen something and then it turns up. And unfortunately, I think this one is a single. But maybe it's in mixed in with the other stuff. This earring. Oh, no, I didn't know. They noticed they put these little earrings like this together. So they are actually sets. That I, and now I can put on matching backs for these little tiny earring sets. Didn't realize they were sets because they were the way they stuck them together. I don't know if the state person did that or if the, um, you know, the person who once owned these did that. And here's another one, I'm not gonna take it apart, but it is a set, it's just they put them together. Okay, so that's all the tiny items. They're gonna go back in the box. That might just all go in one listing. Uh, all these men, and I have some others from other boxes that I would add in, or from other hauls, whatever. This was broken. Somebody wants to restore this, let me know. Um, I mean, so there's green corrosion on here. Ugh. So you'd have to clean that out with some vinegar and you could probably just cut the one that was broken. You never know. That's all you, I think that's really all you have to do is just cut this one broken strand of beads. You're not gonna know. That's all you really have to do. And just clean up the clasp a little. So actually this is nice. I can just clean this and list this up, list this. I can clean and just remove. You'll never know, no, you know, you won't know the difference. Okay, so that's actually a good one. I thought it was in much worse shape. Um, and then this extra strand will just go, a uh, beads will just go in with my beads. So I had this awesome purse. <laughs> it's a purse strap. I wish I had looked because there was a purse nearby too and I didn't even think to look or ask to include it. But next time I will. Um, there is a mark on here. Um, all right, I'm gonna um, take a look at the mark. Uh, looks like it says maybe Germany. Yeah, Germany. So that's pretty cool. I'll probably just list this on its own unless I end up with more than one of these, but I don't think so. Somebody might be looking for some. This is in basically perfect shape, so somebody might be looking for that. And then there was this little box of keys. 
I don't know if this is for a tie, but some of these keys could probably be cool on a necklace as for craft. I might just sell the keys <coughs> or I might save them for my own crafting. I don't know, guys. I may just list any, everything I have in posh, only not because I'm really expecting to sell it all, but just because I need to sell something and I don't know really what people are looking for yet. Just because I want, there's things that I need for the channel. This I was so bummed about, guys. So I don't have any idea how to repair this. It's like a solid chain, but if anybody knows, there's a way. It's like, I don't know if you'd like solder it together. I have no idea, maybe. Maybe my husband could do it, I don't know. I have this in like a tiger shell color, so this would have been a keep for me. If not, if there's no easy way to repair it that I find out about it, I have a bag of items for restoration. So it'll probably go in there for somebody more experienced. Um, this, I think I showed in the other video, they got a little mixed up. Shell, little shell necklace. Um... This I also believe I showed in the other video. Shell necklace. These I don't believe I did. I looked these up. They were like Hawaiian seed or nut lays. Beautiful color. They, you could see where they were tied, but probably from somebody's vacation. These are so pretty. I like these a lot. Um, here's another surfer style necklace. Um, again, I don't know. I have like a coastal lot going. This one isn't in the as good of shape. I we'll have to see about that. I think this is just Mardi Gras beads, guys, but they're like a lot prettier. They're pretty, but they're just plastic. I had just put a whole bag of these. It's Marty Grabby <laughs> to Goodwill. I should have grabbed these. Here's some very nice um, pearls. Faux. These are definitely like faux pearls. Yeah. They feel pretty smooth. Uniform in size and shape. So, yeah. Some really cute faux pearls. All of these, I have a lot of nice pearls already. These are gorgeous though. Really pretty, really good shape on these. I do not see any like chipping on the paint or whatever. Really, really pretty. This long gold necklace. There's some wear here on this. I'm not sure. This is cool. This is just like a hefty. Oh, is this Monet? Yeah, this is Monet. So I have a Monet. Um, this is, oh, that might be nice together in a listing. And I have an, a letter A pin. I don't know. That's Monet. That's gold tone. I might just put this with, together like this. Really nice, chunky Monet chain. And I have several earrings that could potentially go with this. And here's like the, a little bracelet, unmarked bracelet. Hmm. What else do we have here? Um, This is kind of like a gold tone chain. It's a little, it's pretty worn. I had a friend who was looking for this, but I think she wanted something longer. This one's not in the best shape, but it's just kind of like a vintage look. I'll definitely use that. Something will, I'll have, I'll put a charm or something's definitely gonna go on there. Um, okay, so I do have another one. Without a clasp, I don't know if this got mixed in by accident. This looks like stuff that I've detangled previously, or if this was here, it just, it needs a class put on, which will be super easy to do. It's a very light weight gold tone chain. This, I think needed repair. But like an easy repair. 
Don't know. So this would be easy to repair with, um, did it come apart here though? There's not jump rings in between these. I am confused. I'm going to try to Google image this. If anybody knows, let me know how to, the right way to put this back together. Cause there's this little part here. That's like a clasp. So it has that like, this piece has that like old smell. Um, interesting. Cause I can't, it, there's no jump rings connecting them, but I can't see like, oh yeah, some of them do have jump rings. But was that a repair? Oh, some of them do have a jump ring. Oh, maybe it was repaired already before. Or maybe that's just the way it was made, or some do and some don't. Interesting. This I'm a bit mind boggled. Let me know if you think it's worth fixing or put just putting into like a craft lot or. I like it, I think it might be worth fixing. This is pretty. I feel like I had earrings that match this, but they were, I thought they were gold. Um, this is a nice silver double chain. No markings. Oh, is there a mark here? Casey. This like seems newer. This is the thing too, I can't, with, when I film this way, I really have no idea what's going on because <laughs> I can't see into the phone. Um, uh, well, who knows? This is like very plasticky, lightweight, silver tone chain. It'll go into like one of my little junk jewelry craft lots if I don't use it for something. What's this? What's this? Is that it in this box? Yeah, in this box. But I have a plate and I don't know if I showed you everything. This is awesome. This is like a heavy, heavy, chunky, gold sort of brass tone sheen. Love that. Um, no marks, but that's really cool. Uh... I have a few other things here. These, I also don't know what these are. They're corroded, so they'll probably go. Either I'll clean them in a video just to see if we can clean them for fun. If you want to see that, let me know. They do have markings. What is this for? Um, yeah, they're just very, they have that green. Cool, really cool. I think I might try to clean these just for, just for the heck of it. Uh, vinegar. You, like, do soap and water and vinegar on this. But the thing is, this green corrosion eats the metal, so it may be beyond repair. Um, this necklace is broken. <coughs> ah, so this necklace is broken. These beads are cool. I don't know what they are. They're, like, bone or... They have a really cool spiral pattern. This would be something I could restring, or I may go into the restore bag. Just have a bag of things that I just don't know if I'm gonna get around to fixing. Not like my, not like my area of interest. Um, so this might go in there, and then I have this usership. I don't know what this is. I feel like I know, but I don't know. Cross. If you know anything about these things, let me know. An AF pen. This is a Canadian maple leaf. Here's some more little Canadian flag pens. 
else. Um, I think I have other things I've shown you. The dragon I've shown you. The gold leaves I believe I showed you. I started photographing some of these to list. Um, okay, let me pause and grab the other things. All right, so here's the rest of the stuff that I have still out on my table. Besides the watches, I believe I did show all the watches in the previous video. I have these buckles. I don't know what they're made out of. This isn't really, that red color almost doesn't really seem like rust. It's like, looks more like orange paint. So I don't know. Um, the yellow, I listed this. The yellow necklaces, so you can find those in the posh store. Um, yeah, I just matched it up with some clip-ons. I'm not going to take it all out because this was already listed. Or at least already photographed and seen here. A bunch of silver stone earrings that I photographed for the posh closet. Um, I think I just have to finish putting up the listing, but I already photographed them. Uh, so this, I was thinking about doing a butterfly lot. So I saved this brooch. I think I showed it to you guys already, but I think I am going to put it with some other butterfly stuff that were from other hauls. Um, these I think I showed already. Not sure if I showed these clip-ons. Those are really cute. These pearls, I think I did, but they were not really. Like the pearl screw back earrings. Um, I had an idea for what I wanted to put these with, and now I can't remember, but I'll figure it out. Um, these don't have a mark. I like these a lot. I tempted to keep these, but I should probably list them. Here's this. I think I did show in the previous video. <coughs> the pin I remember showing. This tie clip. I think I did show. This one has a mark that I'll have to look up. This is a swink. Oh, I don't know. This looks different. Hickok. Hickok? USA? I have no idea. If you know, tell me in the comments. This I think I showed. I have these cute, this match, this cute match of earrings. Pierced earrings. Hoops. These little cute little pierced hoops, clip-ons, gold tone clip-ons. I know you guys, some of you really like hearing my thoughts, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm just out of the thoughts. <laughs> uh, I've seen this stuff a lot, so it's not as, as spontaneous. You know, I kind of like keeping things secret from myself. <laughs> It didn't work out that way with this one. So I kind of like having like my immediate reactions on camera. These swirls. Just showing these again in case I missed anything. I might keep this or I might do like a religious thing if somebody's looking for that type of stuff. Just a gold pen. Um, if I think I, I know I mentioned these, but I had cut some of these previously. And was like, oh, I shouldn't have because I would have had such a cool stack. But that's okay. I bet you I'll see them again. Vintage watch. Another pair of pierced earrings that need possibly cleaning. This cool ring, but somebody, I don't know if somebody cut it or if it's supposed to. I think somebody cut it so they could get it on. Not sure. Right here. Oh, these do kind of match. Um, I thought they were gold. They do, they do kind of match this, so this will go together. Yeah, I think it's a set, maybe. Or maybe just coincidence that they're similar, but... Yeah, I think those will... I'll probably list that all together as a set. These pearls that I had left off on that I was thinking about keeping. 
Oh, this is what I was thinking would be nice listing. These cool long pearls with those, um, where did I put them now? <laughs> Don't laugh at me for getting mad at my these, uh, so that might be. I am sick, so I don't know. If I don't like this, I'll refilm it. Or I'll put voiceover. I don't know if this goes with one of my chains. This is cool. I did show chain mail. Necklace. This pearl necklace. I think I did also show. So I think I did show all this stuff. Most of this. But I just was afraid that I either missed it or, uh, and this I have to untangle. Ooh, my favorite. I'm not going to untangle this all on camera. It looks like there's two chains tangled here together. Oh, yep. Yeah. So here's one. It has a knot, but I can easily unknot that. I have a huge pile of chains, so these are, it's probably going to go with that. And then this other dainty one, it's tangled now, but I'll untangle that off camera or once I have a need for it. Okay, I think that's pretty much everything in the state. I don't think I missed anything. If I did, I'm sorry. It just kind of, I kind of kept mixing it up by accident. All right, thank you so much for watching. Uh, sorry if I sound a little tired or hurried today, but I kind of wanted to show you guys that stuff. I kind of wanted to get the, I gonna, I scheduled the first episode today. So this will be the second episode. It'll probably go up either, probably tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.